it's important to assess this threat. And as one can see from our previous um, posts and vids and studies and, and touching on scripture and prophecy, um, that we need to really assess this because um, judging on what they have said um, over here in a previous work, and we're talking about this situation vis-a-vis -vis, um, um, the beheading of the Ethiopian of the Ethiopian Christians. Here's what they said in their vid. They said it's a message signed with blood to the nation of the cross. They said, if you don't submit to um, their religion, they said their religion is the religion. And now a lot of folks say, well, this is not really representative of Islam. And so but I don't really see a lot of the Mohammedans or Muslims or Muslims really speaking up. And, you know, to me, that's that suspect right there. You know, that's suspect. I'm just saying that. So this is not really about us and them. It's about what's happening to um, our peoples, right? Or peoples who we have um, um, brotherhood, even in Christ and even in, 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 in nationhood, as we as the once lost but now found sheep in the house of Israel, Amos 9 and 7. So it's Ethiopia. We know Ethiopia is in the crosshairs. Ethiopia most definitely is in the crosshairs. Um, and, and the ISIS and the propaganda already was put out that kind of announced that already when you see the maps and how they say all like almost all of North Africa, they have it like blacked out for like uh, Islamicism, right? For the Islamia, the Zalmuna, right? Um, these giants, I mean, these guys are giants like Nephilim. You see how tall some of them are? Wow, 9-11, Revelation 9-11 say that these, you know, the, the, these entities come out of this pit, you know, and they, and they, and they reap, uh, bloodshed and mayhem and chaos as well as deception. So yeah, some of the CGIF is a part of it. But is Lalabella being targeted? This is the question we want to ask, right? If we look at one of their other, advertisements, and this is where we're talking about La Labella now, it's not like we w want this to happen, right? We didn't want what is happening to happen. The prophets didn't want it, right? The apostles didn't want it. You know what I mean? The righteous don't want it. But if our apostate people, right, our careless, if the careless Ethiopians, you know, do not um, wake up, Right. And take care. Right. Take care to fulfill second um, Chronicles seven and 14. You know, what I mean, to um, to repent, to pray, you know, what I mean, to humble oneself and pray and to seek his face. Now, here's what's so interesting. Here's a couple of shots of La Labella. Right. La Labella, you know, the rock hewn church. So they say this is a message to the nation of the cross. I mean, you can obviously see it right there. So is Lalabella a target? It's obvious from the assessment of the Royal Order of I, I Ethiopian Hebrews, it's obvious that Lalabella is a target, right? Is being targeted. And we know there's going to be a lot of careless Ethiopian naysayers and others that would say, oh, you're just making this up. Oh, they just try and start trouble. Um, trouble is already going on, right? We are already in these end times, right? We already see the end time signs and, and more and more of the full pictures being manifested as we study, as we pray, as we ask for wisdom, as we get up and stand up, and as we...